Go shawty, it's your birthday We gon' party like it's your birthday We gon' sip a party like it's your birthday And you know we don't give up because that's your birthday You can find me in the club Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the second half of tonight's show? Yeah! Sure you are, we're gonna get off in cracking style Please welcome to the stage the next act is in the evening It's the wonderful Mr. Andre Vincent, ladies and gentlemen Here we go. I hope everyone's well. I'm glad there are so many Star Wars fans in the room. I, like you, in 1977, saw that film and my life changed without a doubt. I uh, have been a Star Wars avid fan ever since. So much so, like some of you, I'm sure, in the room, that when our census forms came round... <laughs> oh, yes! We were told 20,000 was all we needed to put in religion if we put Jedi it would become an official religion. 960,000 of us put in Jedi. Did we do anything about it? No, we fucking didn't. It was a laugh. None of us followed it up, which is gutting for me, because if we had done, if we'd made it an officially a religion, then that means every other religion would be the dark side. <laughs> and the thing is, ladies and gentlemen, I was such an avid fan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Millennium yeah. Falcon, my God! I was stiffer than Hayden Christian's accent. <laughs> <laughs> I won't turn to the dark side. <laughs> you wait for it. <laughs> So it started with the Millennium Falcon, that was a natural thing, I was over the moon and of course when you get that then naturally that moves on to... <laughs> oh yeah! You get your dark tie, you're there, you know you're hitting, that was the first year, that's the first film, you're happy. And then of course obviously when the more films come out, then you know, more things come out. <laughs> oh. Where are we guns in there my friends? Now, this is, I tell you what, what's really sad, these are just my spare part ones. Oh, yeah, I've got proper ones in cabinets. What a sad cunt I really am. And you don't like George Lucas. <laughs> You're with me there. Uh, then obviously, you know, you get your, you get your uh, X-Wing, obviously. Well, the good one about this, I don't know if you can hear this, but when you open it... About to hear that, and, and then you know, and then obviously the last one came along, and you get just normal little. It wasn't so good the last one. You never bought any really good things. So, oh, oh look at you, fucking. <laughs> 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 if there are real collectors in here, if there are real collectors, where is it? Oh yeah. Aqua Blue Grud 138. <laughs> 220 quid. <laughs> Is that the droid you're looking for? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what was worse was then people would, my, my family would then just get me Star Wars stuff. And I, tell me, I got Star Wars Monopoly. I don't know if anyone ever got that. But yeah, you could never. Yes! <laughs> one family member ever to play Monopoly was bad enough. Star Wars mo fuck off, behave. <laughs> in South East London, my dad would never take it seriously. I'd be Dad, stop calling order on the old Kent Road. It's not right. <laughs> and that's the Dagobah system. Stop. <laughs> it was very annoying. And then what happened was even worse, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, one of my family members, no, actually I'll, I'll tell you this, I put all this away first. I put all this away in uh, oh, probably about 80, 84 in my mum's attic <laughs> and it just stayed there and I didn't think about it until I was in New York in 97 and I, I, I got these, I bought the laser disc set, look at this, look, look, get this, first pressing, oh yeah, 1817 of 5000, I didn't even got a fucking laser disc, that's how sad <laughs> And, and that was in 97, and so I, I bought it, I watched it again, and then my life changed, and I became a collector, and I started getting everything out, and I started putting it all in, you know, in beautiful shrines, Star Wars shrines, all everything. I was just mad about it. 
And, and then it was great, because family members, I've got this sort of family that when you, you, know, you get into one thing, they'll start buying you things. Sadly, they knew it was comedy for years, and so, you know, you'd get sort of things like Reg Varney's autobiography. <laughs> Little and large, live at Abbey Road. I mean, you know, and, and it's thank God I suddenly got back into this in the late 90s, because then they went mad. And then what happened was, bless them, one of them bought me this. Bart Wars. <laughs> I, I, I was into The Simpsons, I, I watched it, I went, oh, that was really good, thank you very much. Birthday came along. And my girlfriend, at the time, bought me this fucking thing. <laughs> Which you kind of went, mm, all right, I'll give it a go, I'll put it on the settee, maybe people will like it. That happened, and then people just started buying me more and more Simpson stuff. <laughs> we tried a Simpsons phone, a Simpsons remote control on a skateboard. It was just at the chess set, it was getting a bit out of hand. Somebody even... Then, Somebody bought me a fucking crusty mask. <laughs> a crusty mask. I'm not, no, it really. No, I can't. It is, oh, no, I'll start. I'll start sweating like Ian Huntley on half night. Seriously, it's not. It's not a good thing. Fuck it, it's for comic relief. I tell you, what I did put this on was my girlfriend bought the Lisa one, and <laughs> yes, we did. And, <laughs> I know it's wrong, and for some reason the relationship finished after that. Um, but, for th but this what happened was, was people started thinking you know, I was this toy man, and I started getting all sorts of things. And, and I also, you know, all I wanted was a Star Wars stuff. And, and, and what I did, you know, you, you check eBay constantly for all sorts of things. And I, I, I was after this R two D two for ages. R two, and you know, I, I was like, and it sent me. And look what I got, and it, as opposed to. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Kenny, show, show what I got on. This is what I got off Kenny Baker, ladies and gentlemen. Kenny Baker, Archie D2. Yeah.